Hello, I'm Phil Booth. I'm a media production specialist based here at the university's media studio, and I'm part of LTES, the Learning and Teaching Enhancement Service within Information Services. In this short video, I want to talk about basic content creation for teaching. If you find you need to create some video content, then a quick and easy way to do this is with an Apple iPad. You can screen capture, audio record, video record, and even edit, all on the iPad without any need to download additional software or by having to resort to a desktop computer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to record a PowerPoint with voiceover and real-time annotations. I'll be using a 13-inch iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil. But this can just as easily be done with a standard iPad. And don't worry if you haven't got an Apple Pencil. Writing with your finger can work just as well. Additionally, much of what I'm about to show you can also be achieved with an iPhone. Before you begin, make sure you've found yourself somewhere quiet to make the recording. It could be your own office, an empty classroom, or somewhere at home. You don't want interruptions, so perhaps put a Do Not Disturb sign on the door. Put your phones on silent, and if the iPad is next to any other source of noise, such as your desktop PC, then shut them down to avoid any extraneous noise being picked up by the microphone. Have the iPad directly in front of you, preferably using a stand. So, to start, you'll need to activate the screen record button. For this we go to settings, here, control centre, and customise controls. If we look down the list, we can see screen recording, here. So let's tap the add button, and then go back to the home screen. To start a recording, from the top right-hand corner, swipe down and reveal the Control Centre menu. And here is a Screen Capture button which we've just added. We press and hold to activate the microphone. We tap it and it goes red to make it live. And now we can start recording. We have a three-second countdown and that's it running. So let's go back to the home page, and now we're going to launch our PowerPoint presentation. If you look at the top of the screen here, you can see the red record button, just to indicate that we are still screen recording. So, we now start our presentation. This is the studio here, and I want to add some highlighting. So I'll call up the menu at the top, to the settings, and you can see the first one is for pen, the second one is for highlighter, and the third one is for an eraser. But well, we want to use the highlighter. So I'll select a colour, and now I have a highlighter. And of course, we can always change the colour. If I said, here's some lights, here, here, and here. If we go to our next slide, perhaps I want a pen. So I hit the pen, and I want to select the colour. So I think I'll have green. So now I can say, here's a light, here's another light, these are both LEDs, and this here is the auto cue system. And that ends our presentation. So now we want to stop the recording. We call up the menu at the top, and we tap the record button at the top. And we say stop. 
and we make sure to give the iPad time to uh, record the file to the iPad's memory. That's now been done, so I can come back to the home screen. So once we've finished our recording, perhaps we'll need to edit it to top and tail to remove the start and end that we don't want. We do this through iMovie, which is this app here. So we launch iMovie and we create a project. In this case, we want to create a movie. And I select the file that we've just created and hit Create Movie down at the bottom. So now we have our video track here. I see me scrolling through and I can see what's on the video track in the window above. So we want to alter the beginning. So I highlight and you see the large yellow bar and we just bring it forward to where we want the video to begin. Here. And if we go to the end and we do the same, we can shorten it to where we want it to end. And now we hit done. So now that we've finished topping and tailing the video, we want to output it as a final file. The share button at the bottom here allows us to do that. Press that button and hit Save Movie here. Well, we'll go for HD 720p. And now the movie is exporting to the Photos album. I hope this short video now gives you the information you require to get started. And if you need any help or advice on any aspect of media creation here at the University, then please don't hesitate to get in touch using the details on screen. Thanks for watching.